the Redwoods. So guys, Raven the Redwoods is the new map by Infinite Warfare, or in Infinite Warfare Zombies, and I would like to talk about it, and I do have a script for this. So, <clears throat> first of all, the wall guns. Uh, I have to move a few things. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry about this. You didn't see any of these games fly by, I promise. Um, so, <clears throat> wall guns. The guns that I do want to see return are the RPR Evo, the NV4, the Oni, the HVR, the M1, the Hailstorm, and the Volk. The ones that I, eh, are on the slight side are the ERAD. And that's because it's a little bit heavy. I don't really like it. But the, uh, those are okay. So, yeah, guys. Uh, I would prefer those wall guns to be back in the game once again. I think that'd be cool. Now, these are guns that I want to see would be cool in the box or a wall buy. And this would be freaking awesome. So, first of all, the ray gun. Oh, do we all love the ray gun. A wonder weapon that's not a shredder and tedious little tasks would be nice. After all, these maps have guns that don't do any damage at all. And the thunder gun would be OP. The Ray Gun Mark II, eh. The Thompson would be an awesome return. The HD slash MP40 would be an amazing gun. The M27, the LSAT, the M14, Olympia, last but not least, the Galil. Questions. What are the Wonder Weapons going to be? Which we'll talk about Wonder Weapons later. Uh, will there be a boss? Or will we have the Brute again? Will it be the same as Spaceland? Or will it have attributes from Transit? Now, the reason I say that is because I'm nervous that they're going to take ideas from Transit, like buildables and whatnot, just like how they did in Spaceline and bring them back. Now, the buildables in Spaceline were pretty good, but I'm nervous it just won't turn out as well as it did in that game. So, <clears throat> uh, the color, just like Transit and how they took, like, like bright colors and dark colors and mixed them and it didn't look good i don't want to see that in raven the redwoods the brute i don't know if it's coming in the wonder weapons perk ideas now if they took out slappy taffy and i noticed in the trailer that there were quite a few of traps how long okay we're only two minutes in um there were quite a bit of traps and i think trappy taffy would be awesome instead of slappy taffy uh 1500 points to be invulnerable to traps thinking on the Nice side uh, traps ideas. These are the trap ideas that I think would be really cool. The spiked barrel, as seen in the trailer, I do believe it was something like that, and it swung down. The bear in a tent. Uh, steel dragon would be nice to see as a return. The alligator would be nice to see as a return, and a tree trap. I think would be cool. So let's go back to. <clears throat> uh, let's go look at other games and see what we thought of those. And see if that could have anything to do with Raven the Redwoods. So, we're going to start out with the obvious one. We're starting at the very beginning. And we're skipping Advanced Warfare, just so you know. Uh, World at War, pretty good. The Thompson would be an awesome return. The, ba uh, the Bar, or whatever it's called, would be a sick return. Um, guns like that. Guns from this game would be sick, except for the Car 98K. Don't really like that gun. The Wonder Waffle, or the Wonder Waff, would be amazing. Black Ops 1, um, the Galil, the uh, G11, the Ray Gun, uh, the, all these fantastic guns. I don't know why I said the G11. Um, the MP40, all the guns like that. This game really reinvented wall guns, and I think that's where wall guns really came in. Black Ops 2 ruined the point of wall guns when we just had the box pretty much in the open. Nobody played transit, nobody played farm, and then town, the box is in a pretty obvious spot. Same with farm, and nobody really wanted to play transit, so that left us with DLC. What's DLC? Um, basically, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Buried the box, not too hard to get to. Uh, I know that. Uh, what other Black Ops 2 Origins uh, can tend to be a little bit of a pain. Um, I haven't really played DLC on Black Ops 2. Don't really have it. I've played a couple of those maps, though. So, yeah, that was pretty interesting. Now let's go to the next game. Black Ops 3 reinvented wall guns, and all you pretty much get is wall guns. And then the box is pretty far away in Shadows of Evil. Now, I just got this game. Same with World at War. So, I don't really know much about it, but the wall guns so far have been working out great for the first about 9 or 10 rounds. And then they start to get pretty bad. Okay. 
Now, we are about five minutes in. And, yeah. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. If it makes a brilliant map, and we all be happy, it could replace some of the bad maps we've seen in the past. And it could reinvent good maps. But, it's either that or it's going to be terrible. And it's going to be transit terrible. So, I have a feeling it's going to be either amazing or really bad. Uh, I don't really think it's going to be in between. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I just noticed my sensor bars underneath my TV. Maybe my Wii U is plugged in. I'm not sure. Um, the next, uh, Wonder Weapons. Under Wonder Weapon ideas instead of the Shredder, the Discord, the Face Melter, and the Head Cutter. I would like to see the Extinct Gut... The Extinct... It's hard to pronounce. The Extwin Gusher. Kind of like the uh, Extwinger. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. Extwin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Extwin. Um, the Extwin Gusher. The Gusher. It's called the Gusher on purpose, and I just I'm getting my words mixed up. The parts that you would have to find for this would be a trigger, uh, an an extinguisher. Yeah, there we go. An extinguisher, a handle, and a stock. And the gun would kind of look kind of like um, like a garage-made, like, last-second weapon because you're at a camp and you don't really get much of your materials at a camp. And I think that's how most of the guns and most of the stuff there should look like. I think it should look old-fashioned. I don't think we should stick with this futuristic stuff. I say we go back to square one. Okay, next thing, the next Wonder Weapon and the final Wonder Weapon will be the Tomahawker. The things that you need to get is a Tomahawk Lethal Wall Buy. So there will be, uh, hopefully, this is just what I what I want. There will be a a, a, a tomahawk lethal wall buy for fifteen hundred points. You could buy those, and boom, you have the first part. Build it, and yeah, you get a barrel, and then you need a trigger. What this will do is kind of it will it will look like a thunder gun, except it's like light blue and black, and then tomahawks will hang on a chain off of it. That's kind of how I picture it, but. Yeah, and then it would shoot tomahawks, and it would have a crap ton of ammo, and it would be absolutely OP. And as you know, in multiplayer, and most of all, or uh, most of the games, uh, it's a pretty much a one shot from a tomahawk. And I think that's how it should work, kind of like a shotgun, but a wonder weapon shotgun. So that would be really cool. I don't really think we've seen a wonder weapon shotgun. I don't really think they're categorized, but yeah, they're not really categorized. <laughs> but um. That would be nice to see. So, yeah, guys. What do you think should be a nice uh, attribute or addition to um, Raven the Redwoods? What do you think would be the next thing? And remember, Raven the Redwoods is coming out on January 31st. So, I hope you guys enjoy that map when you get it. And it's going to most likely, well, not most likely, it's going to be DLC. And I hope you enjoy your DLC. Bye. Thank you and goodbye for now. I am Puma. And join Nonster Nation today. Peace out.